Now, whether it's a dog, cat, or any other animal, the bond we have with our pets is pretty strong. And it's why for many, if the end of their life comes, it can be devastating. As devastating as losing a family member, one young woman who knows that loss is now helping others with a unique and inspiring gift. Janet Shomlian met up with her along the coast of Maine. Just give them some love, give them some scratches. Kim Kempton has hundreds of photos of her boxer Boone. That's wonderful right there. Hi, puppy, that's a good boy. But these are the ones she'll treasure forever. See if he sits, good boy. He's my child, he's my baby. Perhaps for only a few weeks more, Boone is terminally ill. How hard do you think it'll be to let go? I try not to think about it. Um, because I don't remember what life was before him. Lauren Smith Kennedy, who just met Kim, is taking the photos for free. Go ahead and put your hand up to the side of it. Yeah, just like that. And then, yeah, that's gorgeous. Just as she has for dozens of other pet owners over the past year, grappling with the heartbreak of a relationship coming to a close. You want to capture those last moments, whether they're happy, whether they're sad, just for what they are, because that captures the true love, you know? That captures the vulnerability, the love, the commitment, the friendship, all of that. The first time was a four-year-old pup named Lacey who had cancer. Kennedy documented it in this TikTok video, grabbing the attention of more than 650,000 people. These are the photos she gave to Lacey's family. When she posted them on social media and offered to do the same for others with pets whose time was running short, the floodgates opened. How quickly did this explode for you? Like, where were people coming from? Yeah, families from California, from out of the state, from Canada, you know, all asking if they could travel to me or if I would fly to them to be able to do this. So the outreach was absolutely incredible. In a matter of weeks? In a matter of days. Days. Already working two jobs, Lauren filled what little free time she had taking photos like these. Thousands were commenting on them, hundreds reaching out, some offering to fly her cross country to do the same for them. So you quickly realized like that was not a reality. Absolutely, I was only one person. This was during the height of COVID. So that's when you know I started getting other photographers commenting on it saying, if anyone needs anything, I mean, take my name, you know? I didn't know this existed, I'm so inspired. Let me give you my name. The 28-year-old created this website, now with the names of more than 700 photographers worldwide willing to take the end-of-life pet photos, many saying they'd also do it for free. It's called the Tilly Project, named for the cat Kennedy loved and then lost. She was the love of my life, my best friend in the entire world, my soulmate, everything <laughs> good in this world. She was just my sunshine. And because I know that grief, that heartbreaking, life-stopping, just earth-shattering grief. I know that these photographs can mean so much to people, and that's all I want. That's beautiful. This is 13-year-old Tessa, who had heart disease and impaired hearing. Good girl. <laughs> but still loved a day at the beach. Oh, she just likes to be pet everywhere. Yeah. 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 Yep. For her family, Susie and Mark, amid that. sadness. Oh, you're yeah. getting a hairdo, aren't you? Finding joy. I just have to keep try to hold the beauty part of 13 plus years of memories that we have. Was you right, Bart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These photos will help them remember. Sadly, Tessa passed away not long after they were taken. And these are the photos Kim Kempton will cherish of Boone. This is just such a wonderful opportunity to capture him with us and the love that we share with him. For the animals we love, whose lives are never long enough, the gift of celebrating an unbreakable bond. It's a snapshot of time. It's a snapshot of that true emotion that you can have forever, that you can look back and say, I was feeling absolutely heartbreaking, but man, was that a capture of my love.